Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to launch lots of the fallen game on your Windows computer and if you are receiving any kind of easy anti-cheat error then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run install anti-cheat bat file. So go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game exe file. Sorry, uh, make a right click on the game on Steam and then select manage then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Over here you can see install anti-cheat bat file. So make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now once that is complete, once that is done, you just make a right click run as administrator and it will take only a second, few seconds and once that is done, now click on play. And you should not receive that error anymore. So I'm not receiving the error till now and the game is launching. Yeah, it's launching. So let me close this game. Now, so first of all, run this install anti-cheat from the game installation folder. Still you're facing the then uninstall and reinstall easy anti-cheat. Now for this, Again, go to the game installation folder. Here at the bottom, here you can see uninstall anti-cheat. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes. And then again, make a right click on install anti-cheat and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file and easy anti-cheat exe file to the firewall, to the window security. So Windows security and firewall and if you have any third party antivirus like if you have any kind of antivirus program such as Avast, AVG, McAfee, Bitdefender. So if you have any kind of antivirus program just make sure that you allow the game exe file and all the exe file to the antivirus program. I am not using any third party antivirus so I am using Windows security so go to Windows settings then click on privacy and security if you have Windows 11. Click on Privacy and Security and then click on Windows Security. In Windows 10, you will have an Update and Security option. Click on Update and Security, then click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. Now scroll down at the end here, you can see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Controlled Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow and then click on Add an Allowed App. Now click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the Game Installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686, now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder, common folder, open the game folder, select all the exe file over here. Select this exe file, now click on open. Again click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, open this LOTF2 folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, now click on open. Now click on browse all apps once again and then go back and then open this easy anti-cheat folder and select this easy anti-cheat setup file and then go to open. Now close this, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, click on system and security, click on Windows Defender Firewall, now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, now click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder program file 686 steam folder steam apps common open the game folder select this exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added so i've already added so it's telling me it's already in the list in your case if not added add it then click on allow another app once again now click on browse once again and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now click on add again i have already added again click on allow another app browse and this time go back and then open this easy anti-cheat folder select this easy anti-cheat setup file then click on open click on add once it is added now click on ok on the bottom now launch the game now the next step is to move the game to the drive where any other game 
that use easy anti cheat are located so if you have any other game installed on a computer like any game uh, which is using easy anti cheat so you can move the game to that drive which has the game which has easy anti cheat so you can make a right click and then select manage then click on sorry click on properties and then go to install file then click on move install folder and you can select the drive where you have any game which has e anti cheat you can move the file and then try to launch the game if this option is available if it is not available you can skip this step next step is to this has worked for few players so you can try this if you have any other game install it a different drive which has e easy anti cheat now the next step is to run this command now if you are receiving this error which says easy anti cheat cannot run if dynamic tracing d trace is enabled in that case you can type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then copy the first command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now once this is done restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check you can always enable the d trace uh, so once you are done playing the game you can always open powershell make a right click run as administrator click on yes and then if you want to enable it you can run the second command and you can enable the d trace and you can restart your computer so if you are receiving this error message then you can run this command in powershell run powershell as an administrator copy and paste the command hit the enter key restart your computer and launch the game and once you are done playing the game you can always enable the dtrs using this command now the last option is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working make a right click select manage then click on uninstall now go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the easy anti cheat error with lots of the fallen game on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel